What's going on guys? Another video at your service. We have my guy, Josh Settlers. Settlers, there we go. <laughs> Settlegate. Yes, sir. But Josh came through. He is originally from Super Training and now branched out doing his own thing. He came, did the podcast with us. He's got his boys at Pan Ams. They just got done with their competition. But today I wanted to bring him on to showcase some of the shoulder, what you would say, shoulder exercises for health and for grapplers in general. Because a lot of these guys, definitely get dinged up, got kind of fight a posture, things like that. So he's going to run you through some exercises that he utilizes with his grapplers and his athletes to keep them safe and to keep them on the mats. So Josh, take it away. Thank you, Phil. So these three exercises are designed to help you decrease your overall risk of injury, help your shoulders be more resilient. We've all been put in positions where maybe some uh, lovable spazzy Y belt maybe cranked our shoulder a little too hard and it either pulled us off the mat for a little bit of time or maybe didn't pull us off the mat but it was giving us some issues and it hindered our performance on the mat going forward if you start incorporating these three exercises into your warm-ups and maybe even into some of your accessory work you're going to be able to build up a little more muscle around your shoulder so you can have a more stable and protected shoulder and the first exercise is going to be the cuban press the cuban press is pretty dope because it works on both internal and external shoulder rotation so I have these change plates here. You really don't need a ton of weight. There's gonna be a few things that we're gonna point out on why you don't need too much weight for this. I like to use this as a warm up on my max effort and dynamic effort upper body days. And I also use it as an accessory exercise for those upper body workouts as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our change plates and we're gonna stand nice and tall. We're gonna keep our shoulders back and our chest up and we're gonna go into the hang position which is right here. You'll see that my elbows are essentially in line with my shoulders. I don't wanna be way up here like this, like I'm doing an upright row, and I don't wanna be down here. If you're someone who maybe has some shoulder mobility issues where you can't get your elbows up all the way, you may need to address that before you work into this exercise. But assuming that your shoulder mobility is pretty good, you're gonna start by bringing the weight up into the hang position. From here, you're gonna keep your elbows high as you rotate Externally rotate your shoulders into this scarecrow position. There's a big thing here that I see a lot of athletes doing and something that they kind of get wrong when they do this exercise is that they compensate by dipping their shoulder or their elbows down to get their hands up. We want to eliminate that as much as possible. We want to keep our elbows high in this hang position as we rotate our palms to face forward. And then from there, you're going to press overhead. You can make the dumbbells or the plates touch each other at the top. You can keep your palms forward, whatever feels best for you. But once you finish that press position, you'll bring it back down to 90 degrees. And then you're gonna rotate, internally rotate the shoulder, keeping your elbows high in that hang position. And then you're gonna bring it all the way down. One more time through, bring your elbows up into that high hang position. Notice how my elbows are pretty closely in line with my shoulders without dropping my elbows. I'm gonna rotate to where my hands face the wall in front of me. I have a 90 degree angle in my elbow, 90 degree angle in my shoulder. From right there, pressing overhead, coming back down to 90 degrees. Now here's something that a lot of athletes make the mistake of doing as well with this exercise. I'll turn from the side so you can see. They round their upper back when they bring the plates back down. And what this does is this prevents them from getting a little bit of a stretch and some of that control that they need at the bottom for shoulder internal rotation. If you think about this, this is a Kimura position. This is an Americana position. If you could build strength and stability through this range of motion, I'm not gonna say that no one's ever gonna Kimura you, but your shoulders will be a little bit more durable to help decrease your overall risk of injury. So this is the first one, the Cuban press. One of my favorites, again, you can add this as a warm-up exercise on your upper body workouts or as an accessory movement for some more restorative work. All right, so the second exercise that we're gonna be doing is pretty similar to the Cuban press, and it's called the Serrano press. I'm not sure who Mr. Serrano is. I don't know if it came from Dr. Eric Serrano, but if it did, thank you, Dr. Eric Serrano. If it didn't, you can take the credit anyway. So for the dumbbell, or if you're using some change plates, the Serrano press, what's great about this one 
is it really helps target the rear delts and the upper back. When we are doing jujitsu or wrestling, having a strong posture is gonna be huge and being able to have the upper back stability is gonna be a major component into being a successful grappler. You can't really be a successful grappler if your head and your upper back is always getting broken down in the stand-up game or if you're trying to pass someone's guard and they keep pulling your head down, you're not gonna be able to pass their guard if your posture is getting broken down. So this is not only great for posture, but it's also great for shoulder health, gonna help decrease the overall risk of injury to your shoulders. All you're gonna need is some, again, really light plates. You can do this as an accessory exercise or as part of your warm-up. and you're gonna need an incline bench. The angle of the incline bench can depend on how your shoulders feel, what you think feels best for your shoulders at that time if you're working around an injury. I found the best results at about a 45 degree angle. Anything higher than that, you're kind of doing an overhead press. Anything lower than that, it's hard to do with a little bit of load, but you could still do it with a, a light band or maybe even a PVC pipe. So we have the bench set up here, thanks to our boys at Go Strong. What you're gonna do is you're gonna basically do a plank. I don't know if you guys remember, the 2009 plank challenge, but that's what we're doing on this bench here. A lot of times I see grapplers make the mistake of sitting down and going like this. And I don't know about you guys, but this feels absolutely awful on my neck and my low back. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk up to the bench, do a plank, have our head hanging over the bench, that way our neck is in a neutral position. This is gonna be our starting position here. We're gonna take our change plates or our dumbbells whatever we're using, and we're gonna bring it up into the scarecrow position that we did on the Cuban press. Coming up here, you'll notice, actually, let me spin these around. Coming up to this position here, you're gonna notice that my hands and my elbows and my neck and shoulders are all in line with each other. I'm not bringing them up this way, I'm not bringing them up way up here. It's kind of hard for me to do because my traps are so big, but we're going to bring them up into this same angle of my spine and my neck. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to press out in front and bring it back. Press it out in front and bring it back. A couple things to remember as fatigue starts to set in on this exercise, I see a lot of athletes, they get tired and they end up kind of punching the weights out and punch out in front not up at an angle. So they end up going like this because it sucks and it burns and it really hurts sometimes in the best of ways. If that's the case, you either need to decrease the weight a little bit so you can have better control. Being able to maintain stability of the weight and being able to continue pressing at that same angle. You want to hold it out in that extended position for about a second or two, just so you can build up the isometric strength in your upper back your rear delts and the other stabilizing muscles of your shoulder so you can develop more stability, which means you're gonna help decrease your overall risk of injury. All right, so the third and final exercise, you guys have heard me talk about this before. This can be used as a warm-up. This can be used as an accessory exercise. This is gonna be the banded face pull. If you're training out of a commercial gym where you have access to cable machines, you can also do this with a cable machine, but if you're training at home, if you're showing up to jujitsu class and they don't have a cable machine there, you can just bring a band from home, do it real quick before you step on the mat, or maybe you just attach it to a pull-up bar in the wrestling room. You can do this in there as well. So I like to use two bands. You could use one band, um, two bands for me, this works a little bit better. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna choke one band around the squat rack, a pull-up bar, wedge it in a door, some sort of anchor point. And then you'll feed the second band through the loop of the first band. So that way, this second band is gonna act as your handles. Now what we're gonna do is very similar to what we did with the Cuban press, is we're gonna get up to this high hang position, but instead of having our palms facing down, we're just gonna have them level with the floor. Now what we're gonna do, this is gonna be our starting position. We'll allow the band to pull our arms forward, but here's the catch. We're not gonna be extending our shoulders forward like this. We're gonna keep our chest up nice and tall, doing a reverse shrug to pull our sh shoulders down almost like we're benching. And then from this position, we're gonna pull the bands toward our face. As they start to get closer to our face, we're gonna 
externally rotate and get into that same scarecrow position we were in on the Cuban press. And then when we come back down with control, letting the band pull our arms forward again without protracting our shoulders. We wanna keep our shoulders back and stable the entire time. You can work through these in your warm-up sets of anywhere from 15 to 25. If you wanna get really crazy, throw a little spice in your life. We are in Florida, so the things are pretty spicy in Florida. You can do this as part of your accessory work for sets of 25, even upwards of 50 reps. You know, just work through reps like this, having control uh, every part of the range of motion. You'll notice that I'm not arching my back to get my hands to my face. That kind of defeats the purpose of this exercise. We really want to use our rear delts and the muscles of our rotator cuff to help rotate our hands back into that scarecrow position. If you start to get a little fatigued and your form starts to break down, what's great about using the band is you can take some of the tension off by taking a step forward. Do it again with a little lighter resistance. That's gonna be the banded face pull. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Josh, thank you so much. So take these three exercises with you, especially if you are a grappler, I highly recommend it. It's actually some of the exercises that are in Ground Control, my BJJ program. If you wanna find out more details on that, also you want to learn some more of the systems and methods that I utilize for my athletes, the mentorship down below, link is in the description to sign up. Josh, tell them where they can find you at. Thank you for having me, Phil. You guys can follow me, TikTok, Instagram, anywhere else I'd want you to find me, at Joshua Setledge, that's J-O-S-H-U-A-S-E-T-T-L-A-G-E. -E. You can check out my website, setledgestrength.com, and my YouTube channel, Setledge Strength, the BJJ Strength Coach. Subscribe, hit the notification, hit the like button. See you again next time, peace.